Welcome to Artifacts and Arts Across America on Traveling with Francois as we explore the historic gold mining town of Julian, California. Hey, want to travel? I'll take you there. Want to dine? I'll tell you where to play golf. I'll pick the spot and I like I know what's hot. It's never too late to get a life. There's so much more to Julian than pies. So today we'll be spending the day downtown here in Julian and I thought the first place that we should stop is the town hall to find out what's happening in this charming little town. Here inside the town hall joining us is Dana Pedersen. Hi Dana. Hi. So what is your involvement here in Julian at the town hall? Um, I was a chamber president many years ago and I'm a 35 year resident here. And I just love this old building and what it means to the community. It's kind of the epicenter for social events, town meetings, dances, all types of things. And I see all these wonderful black and white pictures all over and they represent all different stages of the town yes. hall and some of the influential residents that lived here. Yes. And you can see the town hall actually when you come here because it's also where the visitor center is. Yes. And people come to the town hall on the corner of what street here? So we're on the corner of Washington and Maine and we're open every day from 10 to 4. And uh, we have a calendar of events. You can check our website. So remember when you're coming to Julian, make your first stop at the Julian Town Hall. We're here at the Julian Pioneer Museum, a must when you visit Julian. Joining us is Marianne Moore. She's been working here at the museum, well, volunteering here at the museum for over 35 years. Welcome to the show, Marianne. And Thank you. Tell us what people are going to see when they come into the Julian Pioneer Museum. Well, the first thing they're going to see is our wall of honor over here. We were founded in 1869 by three Confederate soldiers who'd been captured at the Battle of Gettysburg. Uh, there were two Bailey brothers and their cousin, Mike Julian. And when the war was over and they were still alive, they'd heard these wonderful stories of California and our planting land. And so they walked, the three boys, a mule and a horse, from Pennsylvania to California. It took them four years and at that time, this was all land grant area up here. So they were all set. They had, you know, big plans for it. But unfortunately, we're high desert. Uh, most of our land is decomposed granite. And they were ready to move on when Coleman, in the first case over there, discovered gold. About three and a half miles down the road, uh, the story goes, he stopped for lunch turned his mule loose and the mule was playing in this muddy little creek and turned over some rocks and there was the gold. And as far as we know, more gold was taken out of this area than anywhere else in Southern California. And that's the very saddle his granddad was riding when he came to town in 1869. The other room has Confederate uh, cattle ranching, gold mining, and here we have our domestic room which has got more authenticated lace than any other collection west of the Mississippi. There's so much to see in this museum. It doesn't look really large, but it's large enough that you'll be in here for a couple hours, so give yourself plenty of time. Every time I say the word Julian, everybody talks about pies, pies, and more pies. So we couldn't visit Julian without stopping at the Julian Pie Company. And right here, I can't wait to taste these delicious pies. With an abundance of apple orchards, Julian is famous for apple picking season and apple pies. You can taste those delicious pies at the Julian Pie Company and Mom's Pie House in the downtown area. So for all of you shoppers out there, when you come to Julian, you have to visit the Warm Hearth. Joining me now is Chris Stamets. He is the owner, and there's so much history in this building, Chris. Let's start with that. It is huge. Yeah, it is. It's quite large. Uh, my dad started back in the 70s. There's a lot of clothing and apparel, modern stuff you might not expect to find up here in Julian, and uh, jewelry, even toys, and uh, just all kinds of things. So you can actually spend hours here in Warm Hearth. Do you mind if I go shopping? Not at all. Not, all right. Remember, Warm Hearth right here in the middle of Julian. You can't miss it. 
As we continue our shopping journey through Julian, you have to stop at the Julian Mercantile. This store is also incredible. I feel like I'm traveling around the world in just a store. So joining us is Yo. Hi, Yo. Oh, hi. <laughs> and tell us about the Julian Mercantile. The owner, Stacy, travels all over the world. She goes to Bali every year, Ecuador, she's Italy, Mexico, and she purchases things that just different things from all over and then has them shipped back. You have clothing, you have items, you have Buddhists right here behind <laughs> us, a little bit of everything. So when you come into the Julian Mercantile, be prepared to have your senses wowed and take your own special journey just by visiting this store right in the middle of town here in Julian. We are in an actual gold mine here at the Eagle Mining Company. This was founded in 1870, and you can get a tour of this mine when you come to Julian. With us is Matt, who is a guide here. So Matt, tell us, what are people gonna see? How far underground are we? I'm so excited, I don't even know where to start. Originally, these were two separate mines. So they connected the two mines together. We have 11 levels of tunnel here. Uh, the High Peak Mine produced more gold than the Eagle Mine. So when you take a tour here at the Eagle Mining Company, you're going to see everything that we're seeing. For me, this is the first time I've ever been in a gold mine, and for a lot of you out there, I doubt you've ever been in one either. Thanks, Matt, for letting us tour the Eagle Mining Company. Gold mine here You're very, Julian. You're very welcome. There's a lot of talk about apple pies and gold mining and history here in Julian, but why not a spa treatment? You can get a fabulous one here at the Julian Mountain Spa, where their tagline is, relax, restore, rejuvenate. I think I'm gonna go get a spa treatment. If you're looking for a cool, refreshing beer, I found the place for you, and it's right here at the Nickel Beer Company. Joining us is Tom Nickel. He is the owner here. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing well. Great. Thanks right. for being here. Well, this is great. This looks so refreshing already, but tell us a little bit about the Nickel Beer Company. So uh, we opened in Julian about five and a half years ago. I uh, started out as a home brewer, as many uh, brewers in San Diego did. Uh, at the age of 18, I uh, learned to make beer before I could legally buy beer, mm -hmm. and what was a uh, then hobby. Uh, out of necessity became a hobby out of passion and that eventually uh, led to a career in the beer business and I've been in the beer business for nearly 25 years in San Diego. So these beers are local, you make them right here on property. Yeah, in fact our brewery is just uh, right in the other room there. Uh, our brewer Brian Scanlon is uh, working away. Uh, we just brewed our Weekend or Wheat which is our Hefeweizen, a summer seasonal today. We do sell these uh, 64 ounce and 32 ounce jugs to go so you can take the beer with you. All right, you have your outdoor patio, you have inside here. It uh, really has a nice fun vibe to it. So remember, when you're looking for a brew, the Nickel Beer Company is the place to come. Cheers. Cheers. Good beer. It's been a wonderful day here in Julian, but it's time now to sit and relax and enjoy a dinner where the locals go, and that is the Julian Grill. And we are here right now, and joining us is Maria. Hi, Maria. Hi, how are you? I am fine, thank you. Now, obviously a local's favorite, because I see a lot of locals over in the other dining room. We're out here in a little, uh, kind of like a little sunroom that you have here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about the Julian Grill. Well, it's owned by Tom Lynch. He's had it for 30 years. It's very relaxing. During the winter time, you can sit out here on the porch and you can watch the snow. This is spectacular. What do we have in front of us? Well, we have our baked debris. It is served with our apple pecan dressing, uh, which we make here in-house. Served with fruit and crackers. It's very good. It's very, very popular. Uh, next we have here, this is our sweet walnut salad. It is mixed greens with candied walnuts and cranberries and again with our apple pecan dressing. This is our sweet Georgia peach, one of my favorites. It's a chicken breast. It is breaded with um, breadcrumbs and crushed pecans. It is served with, as you can see, peaches and a really nice peach juice that he makes here at the restaurant. We have seasoned red potatoes, uh, which are made daily, and our nice veggies, which are cut here and sauteed here. It's a very popular dish. And obviously you have an extensive wine selection. Yes, we do. Very nice wines. So Maria, thank you so much for oh, having us here so at the welcome. Julian Grill. You are so welcome. 
Simple, safe, secure. Your home, your business, your life. Protected 24-7 by Command One Security. The trusted local experts. Command One Security offers fire, burglar, and medical protection with remote access for control on the go. Our competitively priced quality products use the latest technology. Get free conversion for most existing systems and three months free monitoring. No landline required. Simple, safe, secure. Command One Security. Visit us online for options and special offers. A1 Custom Golf Cars in Palm Desert is the Valley's leader in custom-built, street-legal lithium battery golf cars. Holding a charge much longer than conventional golf cars with no water to add, no messy acid leaks, and no maintenance. At A1, our covered lithium battery systems last 10 to 15 years, delivering 60 to 100 amp hours of power. Join the new generation of street-legal lithium battery-powered golf car owners today, only at A1 Custom Golf Cars, with three locations to serve you. This portion of Traveling with Francoise is brought to you by Indian Ridge Country Club in Palm Desert. Love where you play. The 500, located in Palm Springs and home to Ristretto and Gallery 500. Diane Williams and Associates. Trust experience, experience trust. B. Olson's Jewelers, a family tradition. ACT Tours, explore the world. Julian, California is a year-round destination. Plan your trip at visitjulian.com. CoachellaValley.com, if it's happening, it's here at CoachellaValley.com. Welcome back to Traveling with Francoise. After a good night's sleep here at the Julian Lodge, today we're gonna to explore the outer area of Julian. About nine miles away from Julian, you'll discover Lake Kuiamaka. You must come and see this lake. It is spectacular, as you will see and hear from our guest today, which is Butch Paddock. He is the general manager here at Lake Kuiamaka. Hi, Butch. How are you doing, Francois? I am fine, thank you. Now, this is like a hidden gem in the middle of the mountains here. Tell us about Lake Kuiamaka. Yes, it's one of San Diego's biggest well-kept secrets. Okay. Not many people know about it, but it's about 110 surface acres on the main body of the water. We provide fishing and housing and camping, RVing, and other amenities here at the lake. The history of the lake goes back to 1886. That's when they built the dam. And the reason for the original reservoir was to take water from the mountains down to the city of San Diego. As far as the amenities are concerned, we have cabins with full-size bedrooms and full-size kitchens and full-size baths that we just finished building. Obviously, you have boat rentals, but do you have a boat ramp for those with their own boat? Just north of us, that's our boat launch. We accept private boaters and we get everything from pontoon boats to little skiffs. Of course, we have the restaurant, the main bait and tackle shop. Well, Butch, thank you so much. I think cameraman Steve and I are gonna hop in a boat and row out there and take some pictures. How does that sound? You bet. A lot of you might not know, just a few miles outside of Julian is the California Wolf Center. Joining me to tell us all about it is Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi, how are you doing today? I am fine, thank you. Now, this is really hidden back in the mountains, and I'm sure for just reason. We were founded in 1977, uh, originally the Julian Center for Science and Education, uh, and then later on we focused more on wolves and their recovery. So today we have our conservation center here uh, with a wonderful room where we do a presentation on the natural history of wolves. We also have two ambassador packs of wolves that guests are able to view. So how many wolves do you have on property? Currently we have 26 wolves. How do the wolves come to you? So our wolves are part of a breeding program. Uh, so they're part of what's called a species survival plan for the Mexican gray wolf, which is one uh, subspecies of wolf that we work with. We also have a pack of North American gray wolves, uh, which are representative of the type of wolf that was returned to Yellowstone and is now recolonizing Northern California, which is very exciting. Okay, so we are obviously here in the gift shop of the California Wolf Center. Now, when people purchase items in here, does this, is it a donation that goes towards all the programs? Yes, so everything bought at our center, whether it be gift shop items or memberships or sponsorships, those all help to fund not only the care of our resident wolves, but a lot of our field work as well in Northern California and the Southwest with those wild wolves. 
So this is Poppy. She is a North American gray wolf. She just turned a year old on May 6th of this year. Uh, and she is one of four in this pack. She also lives with her parents, Wintu and Yana, and her sister, Tulisi. Uh, so she is our, probably our most curious wolf in this pack. So she loves to come down and, and visit uh, the tours that come by and interact with the enrichment that we've given her. She especially loves rosemary sprigs. Uh, it's a very good scent for them and they love to investigate and roll in it as well. We are a nonprofit, so we don't receive any government funding and 95% of every donation goes directly towards our mission of wolf recovery in the wild. Like I say, California Wolf Center, look it up and when you're in Julia, make sure that you come out here and check it out yourself and support as well. Three miles from downtown Julian, you will find the Julian Mining Company. This is a place for the entire family. There's so much here to do, and you want to make sure that you take the time to come on out. Joining us is Ryan Cross. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Francois. So why don't you walk us through and tell us a little bit about what people can do when they come to the Julia Mining Company. Okay. Well, we love history, first of all, so we do like to tell everyone about our local history and gold being a big part of that. And everybody wants to find gold. We can actually find gold here? Yeah. So you see where the kids are digging over here? Oh, all and my right. my wife, Gina. They can scoop up sand from there, take it down to this about waist-high panning trough and uh, separate out the sand from the very heavy gold. Even though those were small, those were the heaviest things in the pan. You see the gold? I officially found gold. I'm claiming it, yeah. Okay, I've staken my claim right here, Ryan. All right, well how fun is this for the entire family to come and do this? We are here for the authentic tomahawk throw. Yeah. All right, and with us is Gina Cross, and she's gonna demonstrate how you throw a tomahawk. But Gina, why do you have this here as a part of the mining company? Well, it's pretty fun. Um, and we think that um, miners probably did this as a kind of a fun activity after the sun went down in the evening. They'd um, sit around together and probably throw some axes and have some poker games, that kind of thing. There so, you go. Yeah. We are here at the Julian Station, a bunch of specialty shops right here in this one little area, and we discovered the Julian Hard Cider Tasting Room. Joining us is Paul Thomas. Tell us about your tasting room here. So I started Julian Hard Cider over 10 years ago. So we were essentially the first craft cider producer in the U.S. We wanted to have multiple flavors. So this is cucumber lime cider right here. Again, they're all with, the, with an apple base. Okay, and then we add some of the natural juices and flavors on top of it. These are phenomenal. Let's taste, and thanks so much for having us here. Okay, cheers. Cheers. We have not left the Julian Station. We are still here, and there's so much more to see. In fact, the owner of Julian Station is with us, Albert Lewis. Hi, Albert. Hi. This property is so much fun. To me, it feels like a very old historic building. Yeah, it's an old historic building in the sense that it's an old apple packing shed. So this particular space within Julian Station is Julian Wine and Chocolate. Mm -hmm. So we've got four independently owned tasting rooms on site. So in addition to the tasting rooms in the restaurant, there's uh, antique stores, a realty office, kids play area, there's the back patio, there's live music on Sundays. Everybody's independently owned and so we kind of pull our, our resources and our skills and our qualities together and operate under one roof and create a really fun environment. So make sure that when you're coming to Julian that you take time to go just a couple miles outside of town to Julian Station. I promise you will enjoy every single minute of it while you're here. Thanks, Albert. Thank you. We're still on the outskirts of downtown Julian, only about three miles away. And this is an area I really don't want you to miss because there's so much out here. Some great restaurants, wine tasting, cider tasting, but it's time for lunch. And we are here at Wynola Woodfire Pizza and Bistro. Joining us is Harry Horner Jr., the owner of this wonderful establishment. Hi, Harry. Hi, Francoise. Great having you here. Obviously, Woodfire Pizza right there in itself tells us a little bit about your business here, but why don't you go ahead and tell us about this property. Sure, yeah. Uh, this space, uh, my parents uh, opened up Wynola Pizza and Bistro uh, about uh, almost 20 years ago now, uh, 2001 on April Fools. Turned a dilapidated commercial space into a restaurant that serves quality food and it just provides a quality atmosphere. And when I was going to say that pizza is your shining star, which those look delicious. I can't wait to dig into those, but this right here I, I think we need to start with this. I have never sure. seen a salad. Is this a salad? Yes. I've never yeah. seen a salad so like this. So we call this our uh, pizza crust salad, and it's essentially a piece of our pizza dough that's pressed extra thin, 
and then we build the salad on top with the mixed baby greens, shredded cabbage. This is our uh, fire roasted artichoke dip around the outside. These are our buffalo crackers, also made with our pizza dough. And then the artichoke dip is also house made. This is our godfather, uh, one that we created here. Um, we also do a buffalo chicken pizza where you have the buffalo sauce instead of pizza sauce. Uh, so we probably have uh, six or seven specialty pizzas. Make sure, like I say, you go a little bit of outside downtown Julian. Over here down by Julian Station, you can't miss it, a big sign that says Wynola Pizza Woodfire and Bistro. So come on out and enjoy a really, it's, it's just a wonderful, a feel-good property. You're really going to love it. Thanks, Harry. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. As we continue our adventure outside of Main Street Julian, a place that you don't want to miss, which is over here by Julian Station, is Fort Cross. Now, if you look around, you'll see they have something for everyone. It is really a unique property. Joining us is Doreen and Jesse Cross. Hi, you guys. Hi. Uh, well, this tell us how this all came about. This guy right here, about 20 years ago, he um, started with his family back in San Bernardino. Uh, love of history, love of art. Then about four years ago, uh, he was able to get this property and have his own hand in what he wanted to do. Well, I see signs for a maze. I see all these little buildings everywhere. How large is this property? And it obviously stretches out quite a way. Yeah, it's 12 acres all together. Five acres of it is lilacs. The property here at Fort Cross is for all types of events. Monday through Friday or basically any time during the week if they wanted to schedule a uh, living history program, agriculture, uh, survival skills program, we do all of that. American history, California history, Native American stuff. Try to stick to hands-on activity. Throughout the year, our bigger events are the Lilac Festival in the spring. We'll do a hayride, hoedown, crafts, candle dipping, archery tomahawk slingshots, petting zoo reptile show, cider pressing and tasting, and then the evenings on Saturdays in October, we have a haunted hayride. On Thanksgiving weekend, we do a Christmas celebration. It never ends. So we are ready to enter the lilac maze. So if you don't see us again for a while, don't worry. But remember, when you're in Julian, step outside the box, go outside of town just about three miles, and make certain that you come to Fort Cross. So are we ready? Ready. ready. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Simple, safe, secure. Your home, your business, your life. Protected 24-7 by Command One Security. The trusted local experts. Command One Security offers fire, burglar, and medical protection with remote access for control on the go. Our competitively priced quality products use the latest technology. Get free conversion for most existing systems and three months free monitoring. No landline required. Simple, safe, secure. Command One Security. Visit us online for options and special offers. A1 Custom Golf Cars in Palm Desert is the Valley's leader in custom-built, street-legal lithium battery golf cars. Holding a charge much longer than conventional golf cars with no water to add, no messy acid leaks, and no maintenance. At A1, our covered lithium battery systems last 10 to 15 years, delivering 60 to 100 amp hours of power. Join the new generation of street-legal lithium battery-powered golf car owners today, only at A1 Custom Golf Cars, with three locations to serve you. Traveling with Francoise has expanded with a new parent company, Artifacts and Arts Across America, a registered 501c3. Our mission is to explore, educate, and inspire you to visit the blueprint of America, small towns. We'll help spread the word about these amazing places with your help. You can donate by visiting the homepage of TravelingWithFrancoise.com as we are currently building the AAA America website. These small towns need our help now. Thank you for your support. This portion of Traveling with Francoise is brought to you by Indian Ridge Country Club in Palm Desert. Love where you play. The 500, located in Palm Springs and home to Ristretto and Gallery 500. Diane Williams and Associates. Trust experience, experience trust. B. Olson's Jewelers, a family tradition. ACT Tours, explore the world. Julian, California is a year-round destination. Plan your trip at visitjulian.com. CoachellaValley.com, if it's happening, it's here at CoachellaValley.com. Welcome back to Traveling with Francoise. 
So I bet you didn't know that Julian has its own wine country. And we're here today at the Vulcan Mountain Winery in this beautiful setting. You wouldn't even know you're in California. Joining us is Mel Schaefer. She is here, the general manager at the Vulcan Mountain Winery. Hi, Mel. Hi. Hi, how are you, Francois? Well, I am fine. Tell us about this property. Well, here we are at Vulcan Mountain Winery, which has been here for four years now. Winemaker is Jim Hart. We have a sister winery actually out in Temecula, so the Hart family is a pretty well-known Southern California winemaking family. Continuing to make our really unique apple wines, and then we have a lot of varietals of both dry whites. We have some really beautiful red wines. Um, we grow Pinot Noir and Pinot Gris on the property. We're 4,200 foot elevation, which is kind of unique for grape growing. We do grow fruit up here, as well as having eight acres of apple orchard on this property. The difference of our apple wine and other fruit wines that you maybe you've had in the past, like, you know, back in the day, they used to do like, you know, Annie Green Springs or something, you know, but it is not that. It is actually treated the same way as making our Sauvignon Blanc. We're just using fermented apples instead of grapes. So it's really nice and Very clean. nice, mm -hmm. it really is. Very clean, and really, it, really good. It has a, a hint of apple, but but it's not an overwhelming, like you're eating an apple. So it's no. very, very nice. And everything is produced here on this property. So all of our red wines that we're pouring right now are actually all San Diego County fruit. The fruit is brought up. It is pressed, crushed, bottled, produced, bottled, and cellared right here on this property. So we have a production building. This is the tasting room, but we do have a production building right next door. So everything is local and made here on the property. Remember, Vulcan Mountain Winery, you don't want to miss it. Put that on your list of all the things to do while you're in Julian. So thanks again, Mel. You got it. Nice okay. to meet you, Francois. Cheers. Cheers. Another thing that you don't want to miss when you're in Julian is the Vulcan Mountain Wilderness Preserve. It's a little off the beaten path, but it's well worth it. Joining us is Colleen Bradley. She is the executive director of the Vulcan Mountain Foundation. Hi, Colleen. Hi. So the Vulcan Mountain Wilderness Preserve um, is owned and managed by the County of San Diego Parks and Recreation. And it's great for hikers, bikers, and equestrians. Uh, if you're coming out here with your dogs, make sure they're on leash. It's the crest of the San Diego River Parks Coast to Crest Trail. So when you get up there, uh, all the way up to the top, you can see all the way to the um, San Diego coastline, and you'll also be able to look out eastward into the desert and out to the Salton Sea. Well, oh, it must be spectacular views. Now, how many miles of hiking and equestrian trails? Uh, five and a half, 5.6 miles or so. All right, and remember, when you visit, leave with what you came in with. The Vulcan Mountain Wilderness Preserve. Colleen, thanks so much. Thank you. All right. As we have been from one end of Julian to the other, tonight it is trivia night here at the Julian Beer Company. It's going to be a lot of fun. Joining us is the owner, Jeremy Marsalia. Hi, Jeremy. Hello. Beer seems to be very, very popular in this region, along with wine, but the Julian Beer Company, how long have you been here? Less than a year. It's a full functioning brewery. The main goal when we renovated was to really double down on the brewery and just really make a cool spot. We got the main restaurant, we got this barn, which is kind of like a music venue slash beer hall. So at any time we'll have anywhere from, I would say 10 to 18 beers. Dinner is served and what a tray of food this is, Jeremy. This is really unique. I have never seen so many different varieties of ribs and sausage and I think you better explain. Tell us what we have here. This is kind of our hallmark for the barbecue. It's a smoked beef short rib, so it's slow smoke for sometimes overnight, sometimes all day. We smoke kielbasa sausage in our, uh, in our smoker. Wings, house smoked wings, and then behind that are the ribs, uh, St. Louis cut ribs. And you say you also have a special smoker? What makes your smoker special? It's just an old smoker that was built way back before we had the property and it just produces really good barbecue. I think, I really think that the people who made it just got really lucky. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Artifacts and Arts Across America on Traveling with Francoise as we made our way through the historic town of Julian, California. Until next time, remember to go off the beaten path and see more of a town than just Main Street. And it's never too late to get a life. See you next time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There, how's that? <laughs>